I am back and with some more State of the K2 and with another episode for the CRM. Um, we continue on with Season 6 of the Walking Dead Communities. Um, and yes, yeah, the day after from... Yesterday there was just a day of um, State of the K on YouTube. Um, just because I wanted a, a bit of extra time with Halo Infinite. Um, which should be up earlier today as well. Hopefully, if things go to plan anyway. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, I'm enjoying State of the Game so far. It's uh, been good to get back in the game. Um, so even though it's episode 5, um, I've more or less done all these episodes in, well, and the next episode in uh, two days. Because today is the release for Halo Infinite. Um, and I was going to just do Halo Infinite today but they're not releasing Halo Infinite until 6 o'clock tonight so it's like I might be able to do one Halo Infinite video today on Twitch but like the first episode but I thought I'm not going to sit around all day because I've got a day off so I'm not I'm not sitting around doing nothing so I thought I'm kind of working on the next rotation I've done Grand Theft Auto last night for this rotation which will be tomorrow you're going to help right? Um, so, today I'm gonna, in waiting for Halo Infinite, I'm gonna try and work on t this rotation's afternoon video, so, today's State of Decay, tomorrow's State of Decay, and then the two Grounded's, um, but, I am really soon as used to get back in State of Decay. <laughs> Because uh, I've been loving this series so much. It's been such a good time. Um, as it always is with State of Decay. Um, and yeah, that's one thing I was thinking last night. I need to check, see what these are like at night. Because I made two outposts, but I ain't really seen them at night yet. Oh no! The uh, infestation outpost is fixed. <laughs> uh, not last episode, the episode before. Episode 3? Um, there was an infestation here, and we cleared it, and the infestation icon was still there. Like, all these zombies were crossed out, but the, like, the, like, the whole diagram, like, the whole symbol for the infestation. So we turned that into an infest, uh, an outpost, and it, um, and it gave us, um, like, the icon was still there when we made the icon. Outpost, so it was an infestation outpost pretty much. Um, but I've never had that before, that was a bit of a bug. Um, uh, what is an infest out group there? Um, kind of tempted. Should we deal with this play cart? That's the one that's dealing with that, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, seating. Shall we start the episode off by killing a plague heart? We haven't killed one yet in the series, so why not? Because uh, we've got the means to do it because of the Warlord boon. Um, we even got some... Uh, extra stuff as well. Um... I think it was in the one of the supply drops. Su one of the supply drops we called, and we got some extra stuff. All right, let's do this. Why not? The worst thing that could happen is Negan die. <laughs> things go south we can um oh yeah oh yeah we forgot we got the norma yeah let's go with the norma oh she got fuel fuel for days this is full nice okay go in the norma i forgot we did that yet last time this is one of my favourite vehicles. Oh, the normal's good anyway, the normal, or oh, the one on her own. 
But she's a bit old, you know, a bit worn down. But this is just a beast. Personally, I would like to remove all the gold, but I'll just have it all black. I think that'd be pretty nice. Lawnmower on steroids, this thing. <laughs> Isn't it? it? Sounds like one. Uh, stinks to high heaven in here. So you do it. Play count down. A find like this should keep the folks at home happy for a while. Yes, they will. When I was a boy, mainland America Ooh. seemed like a dream. It's nice. I launched toy boats at the shore, hoping they'd reach a land I never could. Mm. When I was part of the Little army, cat. I fought for that dream. I'm with Red Talon now, but my purpose hasn't changed. Now this is the problem, this is why I should only have one gas can in the back of the any vehicle, because I've got a thing here that I could have stacked, but that's just going to take up a slot. This is going to slow me down a bit. Let's take the important stuff. That, that, fuel, guns, that. I can't carry any more crap. Well, we might be actually able to take... I would have liked to loot the building as well, but... What's this rifle like? Oh man, that looks nice. Very nice. That's weird. When I able to carry for I swear I was able to carry four. Right? Are these? I'm probably just tripping. Tripping. You know what we'll do? We'll take what we can. Until we're full and then we'll go. But yeah, <laughs> it's a bit because I, I saw the release dates for um, Halo Infinite. And, um. They're just a bit, uh. later than I want it to be. There's a lot a lot of people in the America they've got the time of um smell them. They've got like ten in the morning and stuff and it's such a pain because I would love that time. Not like in six o'clock at night, that's gonna because I don't like I I rarely play games at six o'clock. Like I usually like to get whatever videos I want done. As as possible. Hello. I just need one helpful soul to pitch in for a minute. That's kind of good, like, <laughs> like, because it's the reason why I booked the day off, really, from work. 
Um, I, 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 have, I have mentioned that I have finished work permanently, but I've still got a few days there, but I've got some time off. Um, and I bought some time off for Infinite, <laughs> and uh, it's kind of a waste of a day today. I could have blown in, but... Hey, more of an excuse to play State the Kai. I make this parked up here. Or did they stop that? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, that's one thing. Um. Oh shit. Here you go. I want to try one thing. Um. Could be worse. Maybe go back to Better, that house. Uh, but I want to try something. Um. Oh yeah, and you know that I was talking about. Um. You know that I was talking about. The, um, what is it? You know when I said the map pauses when you go into it? It's not what I interpret it as, like in the patch notes. It's actually, it's not this, which I thought was would have been cool. It's, you know, when you move maps and you, there's that moment where, like, the game just pops up. Um, with, like, Take the option of leave map over. and stuff. And before it'd be like, um, it'll pop up and you've got like seven, five zombies after you. That's when the game will pause. Which is a bit irritating, because I thought it was like, it's just going to give you time to look at this, but, um. But what I want to try is one thing that they did... I did hear, I don't know whether it's true, but you can destroy fences with these now? No, no. Heavy weapons. Maybe it's the tall fences. No. I doubt this would be any different. Hmm. <coughs> I thought they said something about fences can be destroyed by heavy weapons. I don't know why you need it, but... It's just a nice little environment, little feature. Heavy damn load. Yeah, I think I need to start just taking one fuel can, and that'll be it. Um, let's go back to that house. I bet there's some more good stuff there. It's all cleared up now. I want... Well, really, we could make the uh, fuel station an outpost for a little while. Because, uh, like, the outposts that we've got right now, they're not needed. Um, we're in, like, the positives, aren't we? We're making them. Um, it's only really building materials and... Kind of hey, quite sustainable. Is... Let's have a look. Uh, how sustainable are we? That's the thing. Most of the time, you are better off just having a small little community. But the thing is, like, the game does ram down your throat that you need. Um, is that minus food a day or plus? I can't tell. I wish it would be, like, maybe... You know what they should do with the... Um, uh, you know where it says plus food or minus food a day? I think they should put it as a hot... Like, I think they should highlight it green if it's plus and then red if it's bad. Um, like they do do it with the... Um, like they do do it with the like breakdown, but I, I, you know underneath the food, I, like how much food you got or meds because like it's kind of hard from where I'm reading from where I'm sitting 
Um, just a nitpick. Just a small nitpick. Got a bloater. Got a bloater. Um, and I just watched some more Walking Dead. Um, I weren't too happy with the first two episodes, like I've said, but things have got a little bit better. Um, there's ferals in the Walking Dead now. <laughs> like they're proper, like I they're like human. They're humans. They're like just gone crazy. Mm, yeah, I got no room for that. Um, but they they look full on feral. Like they've got like uh, their undies on and <laughs> they're crawling around on the floor. <laughs> Um, and they're growling all the time. They're full on feral. Um, probably take that. Why have we got two stacks of that? Oh. You said you'd take care of it. Any updates? Did I? Did I say I take care of it? No escape. I'll be there soon, barring any delays. Hey, thanks. We just spot a zombie shambling toward base. Shouldn't be a problem, though. We're not gonna fill ourselves up. Tell you that so we can trade it. Um, don't like that bloater being there. Bit of a risk. Let's deal with it. Just chilling. <laughs> He's not hurting anyone then. Just chilling. He's found a nice spot. Like Sounds like he was closer than he actually was. <laughs> this is vibing. Vibing in the bush. Um. Thing is. I don't think it's... I don't think it's the end of the world if I don't have that stuff. I think we could probably come back. Alright, let's go and help these guys. At least we can trade with them, sell some of their stuff. Definitely know the skybox now. It's like before, like the sky and like the ground would blend in and it'd just be just the same tone. Whereas now it's like you know it's a sunset almost. Like it's cooling down almost. That orangey, pinky. It's quite nice. <laughs> I severed his head with a baseball bat. <laughs> I don't think that would work in real life. That'd be a lot of effort in real life. Oh, good. Fine. Good Can I trade one. with you people? You'll need it. Um. That's crazy to me that. Oh, uh, what? Uh, that crossbow sold for more than the um, vector that we bought the other day. Or shotgun shells, that'd be good. Might get the shotgun shells.
Hmm. I think there probably should be an option in the settings for um <clears throat> I may be in the option for like I don't because I kind of like having the lights on from the car but sometimes I think it does kind of it is very hey, bright a friendly face you interested in trading might as well 11 influence for a minute there mate that should be way more than that 20 kind of cool like if you had like a uh like on a few occasions i've talked about i mean like um wits be more like a persuasion thing like a like a speech level where you can get better options or better chances of getting around. the options you want from a person um and i'm just thinking like it'd be kind of nice to barter with people hey. <laughs> And say, no, I want to do this. Might as well. Um, this much influence, and they might say, no, I'm going lower than that. Like a bit of a barter system, because there's not like really, there's no like, it's not really proper trading in this. It's just a store, pretty much. What they what they sell is what you get. What they're buying for is what you get. But I'm sure it it varies on how. Or maybe you're an ally with the person or something like that, which is kind of a good thing as well, but... Um, it'd be kind of nice to have an even bigger boost to influence if you can persuade them to give you more for it. Um, even though they've got like a limit of stuff, um, like they, they've got like a limit of influence themselves, but it'd be kind of nice to get more influence for less stuff you sell, so that you can sell that stuff to someone else. Or maybe I should just get rid of this truck. Because <laughs> I think I'm going to just be using the Norma because it's faster and... just a bit more... good all-rounder. Like, do I need to kill, destroy a play cart with a shotgun? I suppose we could easily do that. Is that six, isn't it? That's six. <sighs> I know it's kind of weird the vehicles we're using for the. What are you doing? What did you get out for? I didn't press to get out. Fine. <laughs> I'm kind of. Yeah, we might be able to do that because we got that um, shotgun we got from the Doomsday Pack. So maybe we'll do another play card today. Get the bounty done. Get it done. Our walkers. She's safe on the roof. And it's not out here. How long I'd have been out here if you hadn't shown Whoa. Up. I wonder if Nothing in here. would um an AI with a shotgun count towards my killing a play guard. I've got your back. I'm kind of tempted to kill a play card, like see if she would kill a play card with a shotgun. You know, I'm actually doing all right here. Well, thanks. Shall we try that? Oh. She's technically a follower, right? So she used a shotgun against a play card. Enough for me. Um. I think we should check and see. There's one thing that we get an easy play card kill if she kills it for us. I don't care if she dies. 
Yeah, let's do it. Let's see if that works. So if, I don't, if I don't have to waste my shotgun shells, and she could do it. It might. If, something like that might happen, need to happen if I use my follower, like uh, someone from my community, but. She's technically a follower for me, so. She's like an extension of myself, so. Um. Let's have a look. Let's. It's usually when an AI starts shooting. It doesn't really affect like how much how many zombies are attacking, so it'll be a good stealthy way to kill the playgirl. Because most of the playgirls we killed in a uh, in Heartland were from an AI. <laughs> they just did it. Uh, I think one used a there's an eagle in the playgirl. I just saw a plague zombie. Mist guiding me anywhere. This way. Recon. That was pretty easy. Unusual, but I'll take it. I have a feeling maybe at the back. Yeah, I can see the mist. Oh shit. Oh shit, no! Fuck you! It's the playground. I better watch out for plague zombies. Oh damn, I can set out of the sea. That's how it's done. Do something, Negan. Come on. Right, come on. This place is hotter She's than like, a damn sauna. <laughs> well, some of these AI should be like, where are you dragging me to? Again. Come on. Good. Do it, my child. Uh oh. Got this. Got it. Good play, girl. Excuse me. I got that play I got that screamer. Oh, it's bad. Fire in the hole! Time to catch my breath. You showed them. And you. What are you ferals? Fuck off. Shit, video game. No. I hate that. Every time you join a building, a barrel comes in. Doesn't make sense. Finish 
you off. Come on. Come on. Finish this off. Come on, you. Come on, come on. Finish this off. Oh, hey, guys. Come on. Take your all on. I know what job I need to do. More of a resistance than I thought it'd be. Come on, almost there. One more mag. Come on. Come on, you ain't run out of bullets. Come on. Yeah, and he counted. Nice, <laughs> easy. No shotgun shells used in the making of this video. <laughs> in the making of this bounty. And she got it. She got the furrow. Get a rush going into places like this. Keep talking like that. Yeah. And we'll see just how long you last. I'm down. You've been all right. We got. Stamina, yeah, not bad for damn load. Pretty good. I use a few pistol shots, but that's cheaper than shotgun shells. Very nice. Ningen's a bit scuffed up, but that turned out well. We got bounty done. And <laughs> didn't even do really. It would have been way more, it'd be way worse if I did that. Like, it was kind of hectic there, but... Um, it was kind of hectic there, but... Uh, but we did it. So I wasn't expecting that much. I think maybe the developers have put it in, like... If a, if a play card hits a certain wave and you ain't attacked it, then it's like, hang on. They're conning us. <laughs> Send all forces. <laughs> uh, because it's not the noise that we're luring all them zombies. It was the... Um, Looks like we have a screamer over here. Uh, I'd say the play card by the waves that attracted it. Um, but if I was using my shotgun, like if I was using the shotgun that we're going to use, it would have been three times as much trouble. Um, like the only thing I still don't like with the play cards, I, I know it's the best defense for the play card is a feral, but it's just really video gamey to go into a building and a feral will appear, like exactly as soon as you walk in or get near. It's kind of irritating. But I would like something different to happen, you know? I'd like a juggernaut to pop up, you know? It's just something. Um, like a horde of bloaters, anything. I'd love to just have something different job than a feral. Because I can deal with ferals easy, because I've got... Observed population I've density got. in area designated Trumbull Valley is beneath baseline target. Citizens are instructed to relocate to area designated Trumbull Valley at their earliest convenience. Uh, sorry folks, just a little radio malfunction there. Please. Go about your business. 
He's still, like, yeah, that's going to be irritating every time they keep promoting Trumbull Valley when I want to do Providence Ridge. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, I need to take you home. <laughs> But yeah, like, I, I get that the Feral is the best defense against a play card, especially Nightmare Zone and Lethal, but I don't know, it's just a bit, it's just a bit too predictable and I don't like that for State of Decay. I like the randomness for State of Decay and I'd rather have, like, a bunch of Screamers Watch show up out. or a Juggernaut show up, even though, like, a Juggernaut's easy to avoid and just focus on what you want to do, but... Like something different at them because it's like you go to it, you, you know that you're going to deal with ferals when you do a play cut. Um, and it's like it's still fun, but it's just I don't know. It would be nice to have something different happen. I can pick up Juggernaut or uh, don't forget anything, I just bloaters. Saved your life. What a what what if a massive horde of bloaters showed up, you know? No uh, problem. Or I wouldn't mind a random event where a blood plague feral showed up Don't in Nightmare Zone. In just as a Get random thing. Um or yeah, a normal drip. Just something random, so random that it's like, oh cool, that's something different. Instead of it just being oh another feral. Just change it up a little Always bit. Glad to see you. Because, like, that's the thing, State of Decay pretty much runs off of randomness, like, with the loot and everything. And I think, like, the wave system for the play cards is the least random and most predictable thing. And it's probably the most... Like, that's the thing, it's not, it doesn't make play cards any more replayable, I'd say, because... Um, Yeah, later. Because you're killing the play cart in the same way. Hey. You're not having any other ish you're not having any other threats besides the feral. Even though the ther feral is the probably the most lethal freak. But I wouldn't mind I don't know. Blood plague armored zombies filled the area or something. Or like um just anything. Maybe you're killing a play cart. And what if a hostile enclave showed up? And they're like protecting the play carts or something. You know, maybe something crazy like that. Even though I hate hostile enclaves. Just something different. It's something a bit more random, a bit more threatening. Um, you interested in trading? Might as well. I think it would be like... And it's something that they could easily do. Because that's the sort of stuff I would like to see now. Like if... So I'm not bothered about new maps for State of Gate 2. Because I think we've got enough. Five really good maps. I don't think... If they added, no if they added another map, it, it wouldn't be anything too different. Um, oh yeah, we'll go and check our outposts. See how they're lit up. Um, there won't be anything special, but it's nice to see. Um... I wonder what this would be like lit up. Or if it would get lit, lit up. Maybe go back there. Because I'm going to start making some outposts that we can use. Um, yeah, I would like. I'm looking forward to them maybe looking into some more smaller features that will like really enhance the game more. I, I'd love them to go over hostile enclaves a little bit and just try and make them a little bit better to handle or deal with. Just uh, like stuff like that, because it'd be nice to have like somewhat of a good way to deal with hostile enclaves before the life cycle ends for this game. Because um, I think the hostile enclaves is probably the worst part of this. It's probably the one that needs a bit more TLC. Right. How part of me would like... I don't think I'll start on players. Unless they're not... If they're doing not very well, I'd rather not have them. Because most of the time you avoid them anyway. 
that. Or they need to have more of a reason to deal with them, like really good loot on them or something. Um, so most of the time you just wait until they die and then you go and search their bodies. It's kind of nice in here. That's one thing I like about these little outposts is that, say you're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Um, like say you run out of fuel somewhere and you don't want to, <laughs> if you don't want to travel to in the night, catch the flakes soon. Um, you could uh, hold up at an outpost because at least it's a bit more bright, like lit up and feels safer than trekking all the way back to base in the night. Like the odds of how often you do that is probably slim, but... So part of me wouldn't mind like a little hike or a trip somewhere. Just go from outpost to outpost all around the map, on foot. Um, that might be a good fun episode. Bit of a hike. In Providence Ridge. Just look at how nice that is. Like it's because that's what I want the main bases to look like when they're lit up. Because I think it helps that they're all indoors. Oh, look at that, it makes such a difference. Very nice. I I thought I, I thought I never considered something like that to be a feature. Like we were, we've always said that it's kind of stupid that we've got enclaves just running around in the dark. But never think they I never thought they would actually fix it or do anything with it because it's a lot. Of, well, that's a lot of work when you think about it. Like lighting up most potential outposts, like. Most of these buildings, you probably would never make an outpost. Like, really, that, like, that here. Really, you would never make that an outpost. Even though I have. <laughs> uh, but really, you would never make it an outpost, because it's not your typical one. Like, they could have just made it so the fuel outposts have light and ammo house, ammo places have light in, but it's pretty much every outpost that is around. Um, I will make this an outpost. So you got some fuel coming in. Um. Oh, fuck, you smacked a bitch. <laughs> Disgusting. Still some deadheads around. I gotta take it out. Right, let's see. Secured. I can see ways to improve this place if we're up for the work. I bet I'm not the only one who could use this. Oh, look at that. Now, you don't even notice it to begin with, but then it's like, because it feels so natural, but the thing that we never had this before. Oh, that's so nice. Look at that. <laughs> But you're just asking to be robbed, though. Let's be honest. If you walk, if like you were like a random survivor and you walk past like that, well, you'd rob the shit out of it. <laughs> I 
Look how nice, that's so nice. <laughs> Over here. So, Whoa. Somebody just showed up and we all know it's better if they talk to you. Come in then. I'm here. Stop it. Hey, how's it going? I hear you. Stop, stop. This is to do with plague things, isn't it? Right, um, I'm gonna go and switch characters though, mate, because you get me as tired. That's so nice, look at that. And like the rest of the thing is lit up as well. That's so well done. <coughs> I wanna see what that military camp's like. Dude. Trying to set that up. Hey, kiddos, I'm back. You got a rest, okay? I know that look, and I do not want you getting sick. No. <laughs> I know. My knee is a tough old bastard. You ain't gonna die today. What do you say to the god of death? Not today. That was once upon a time a thing as well. I mean, Game of Thrones was good. Everyone excited for it. But then they shat all over there as well. <laughs> you think my old high school quarterback would date me now? Uh, let's... You know that rifle? Wouldn't that be good now? Oh yeah, she can have a better rucksack now. Right, if I could bet that. Just gonna help her out a little bit. Um. Let's get some ammo. She has n I no <laughs> store a carrying capacity with that thing. It's fifty. Yeah, I'm a, I think I'm gonna leave that for now. I think she would be better with like uh, something a bit smaller. Maybe the grease gun. Something like that. Yeah, maybe that. Very nice. And then we put you on there. Cool. Um Yeah, 
have some Molotovs. Just in case. We could go. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, let's get rid of this. Zeds are coming this way. Oh. Here we go. I'm down. Oh. Come on, mate. Come on. Don't be stupid. Broke the AI. <laughs> Fuck it. Wait. Yeah, get back in the fucking back. Of the thing, you idiot. Get in. <laughs> um. Might as well deal with that on the way. Let's just see how long does it take for it to pop in. Yeah, it's pretty quick, like distance of it popping in, like the lighting. Come on, open the door. <laughs> Fire in the hole. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Say quick, took them half an hour to get out of the complete building. <laughs> but one Molotov, job done. A bloater ready to burst. It's a shame, like, you can't shoot from out of the back of one of these. Like, kind of nice, like, doing drive bys or something. I don't know how they would do it because you, know, you don't want it to be like San Andreas worth of shooting out of a vehicle, but um. it would definitely be nice to be able to just. Even if it was just like an AI thing where they lock onto things. A bit like the um, in Halo Infinite. Uh, you can't be driven by AI, but the when you um, have Marines on the back of each truck, they're just going to be shooting. Um, oh, here's an, oh, there's a Norma. Classic Norma. It's 
fucking barn finds. <laughs> That's what the a lot of, state of decay is a lot of barn finds. You just find some absolute treasures of cars. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. I need a breather. Getting low on that. That was way too much work there. Just for them few zombies. What's he doing? <laughs> Job is a good one. That's what we're looking for. I wonder why this, like, I'm just, that's the thing, all these locations, I'm like, oh, how would this be lit up? <laughs> you know, it's kind of cool. I can work with this. Hey, I found it. About damn time. Thanks. You went the extra mile and you've earned a reward. Here you go. Be careful out there. Hmm. Zedi. It is Zedi. Oh, look how creepy that is, the smog. That's so cool looking. And that whole look of like, uh, something shambling through the fog. That's kind of creepy. Like, is it a person? No, it's a freak. I suppose you can go and leave this shed. Really, like this, it does add so much more to it. Fog. Like sometimes fog in games can be kind of irritating. Like sometimes it can be too strong, or Cause you don't want to not be able to see anything. Because sometimes you can barely see anything in the night anyway. But like this is in the middle of the night, right? I think it is. <laughs> um, and it's. A better way to do it, I think. It kind of bright things up a little bit, but it doesn't take away from like the darkness of the game. It just if I can't use it, maybe someone else can. It replaces one obstruction to for another. That's so cool. Oh. Wow, something's turned off. <laughs> Chemicals is enough. It's a big hoard. See in the rock. <laughs> well, maybe we we'll head back to. Um, Let's go and make that other outpost at the military camp. So we'll probably go... Probably this way around. I kind of would like to have that... 
old Norma though. Maybe we'll get her. Gonna mind that little retro car for a little bit. I'm weird to have an ambulance in the middle of nowhere Take like out that. the nearest plague heart, this might just clear up. It's weird that we've already took out two plague hearts today. <laughs> That's why I think... I don't think I'm going to worry too much if I do... Well, I'm going to eventually get round to lethal zone. And I don't think I'm going to be too affected by it. Um, I feel like I want to do more on Nightmare still, just because there's still stuff I still need to learn from this. Knowing your surroundings um. is just as important as knowing your enemy. And I feel like Lethal will be a massive, like, bump up in difficulty. Especially with, like, Blood Plague Ferals and stuff like that. Like, that's the, that's the risk with that mode. Um... But a part of me wouldn't mind <coughs> just seeing. Um. Damn it, bloody. Get out of the road. <laughs> In that case is. I feel like all this fog and everything, we're going to see a lot of this in um, State of K3. I think they're going to definitely add weather in next game. Um, that's why I think State of K3 will probably be next gen only. I just have a feeling. Um... I think we're kind of lucky we got Halo Infinite for next for current gen as well. I have a feeling that they were really desperate to have um, Halo Infinite for next gen only. Um, I'm declaring this location set free. Let's have a little quick look around. I wonder if this will change much. Be kind of nice if it does. Alright folks, the outpost is up and running. And if yes, we want, really we can spend some time and make it even better. So I think some areas haven't that. changed. Um, I already got all I can handle. I don't think everything's been completely redone or anything like that, but... <clears throat> Slow me down. Man, we've got so many of these rifle presses now. Heavy duty. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, 50. Oh, that's really good. That's a pretty good find. No place to put that. Yeah, 
Is, oh, there is lights, uh, to candles around. I don't think this will be as lit up as anything else. I don't see any Christmas lights up or anything. <laughs> Nothing here. Like, at all. Let's hit the road. We're done here. Uh, we've lit up Trump Providence Ridge a little bit more. There's a lot more to light up relatively soon. So I it won't get very old, like lighting up outposts. It's going to be satisfying to see the changes. Um, I really won't, we won't really see the difference to that till after when we come back. I think what we'll do is we'll wrap up here for today um, and then we'll continue on in the next episode I think it's a good time to, good time to end with a bounty complete maybe hey, how many play cures do we aren't make? Gonna kill themselves, you know. can we make some play cure? Four play cures. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, we can do that. Bounty done. We got play cures for days. Be good. Um. Say that's a good way to end. Next time we'll claim we the bounty. Um, someone in charge. Here we can. Uh, we'll set up Princess, I guess, for the next time we play, um, which will be tomorrow on YouTube. Pretty much set up anyway. Kind of handy. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, so let's do some basic stuff. So you got to use food to make food. Maybe I should start looking into doing upgrading this to level three. And to be honest, I wouldn't mind staying here for a lot longer. Like this little camp we've got, little team. Could perhaps get one more person, but... Like we could move down here, maybe. Um, these are our next two options. Like that one's freed up. Like that's easy. That's just waiting to be taken. So it'll probably be that one. Um, and then I would like to move down here, but there's two play guards doing that, and then there's four with the um that outpost. I think if I because I've got a few grenades, so that's probably that's, that might be enough grenades to deal with the four play guards I need to free up this area. So I both want to free up that, which we need eight people. We need another four people to do that. So we're going to have to move here or something for the room anyway. And then I want to clear out that. Uh, but yeah, really enjoying it as always. Um, always a good time in State Decay. Um, and it's good to be back. 
and then there'll be more tomorrow, which will be more listening to you on from here. Uh, <clears throat> and then, like I said earlier on today, should have been some Halo Infinite. Um, I'm hoping to start playing it today. Um, at least do one episode, just first impressions. But if I'm too tired, like, because it's not being released until six o'clock tonight so if I'm too tired I'm gonna leave it until tomorrow and then I'll be more into it I think I've just got to spend the next few days off of Twitter and away from everywhere because you know like as soon as it hits six o'clock we're gonna hit be hit with tons of spoilers and I'm surprised we haven't had much before that but I've seen one or two things on YouTube with thumbnails and it's just so irritating it's like, I, I really didn't like, I don't like how they've gave review copies so soon. Um, because a part of me would have thought they should have released the campaign first and then the multiplayer. Because if people are so positive about the campaign, it kind of makes you wonder, maybe if it was the other way around, campaign first, then the multiplayer. Because I think... If the excuse is that there's not much in the multiplayer, maybe the campaign will answer it with how much work has gone into that. If that's got a lot of good effort involved and you can tell, then maybe you might, I might be like, okay, maybe there is some logic to why there's not so much in the multiplayer. But um, because I've seen, I've seen today. Um, like the talk, like the free for free, talking about all the modes that they're gonna add by the end of the year. Um, that they're gonna try and they're struggling to get it to work. When people have been able to access their modes, <coughs> like Slayer, uh, s s like some of the other modes, like Slayer is the main one that people want to just be able to play. Um, you can play them in offline mode. So I don't know how people do that, but if you go in offline mode, you can play all their modes that they've said that they're going to add down the line, which is kind of just why like they're in the game. Like you've installed all the modes that are in the game, but we can't play them yet. Like that's a bit. I don't. I don't know what they're doing with it. I don't know what they're doing with it. Infinite multiplayer because I'll probably be playing it a bit more. Like I will probably be playing it here and there, but. There's no, for me, like, at the moment, um, it feels like it's, there's nothing to play, almost, uh, besides the same, like, the, st the the same stuff is good, but it's like, you don't want to play the same stuff forever, like, you want to change it up a little bit, or, like, for me, I was getting to a point where all the objective modes, which I was liking, but some of the times I did the videos for Halo Infinite's multiplayer, I wanted to just um, shoot people. So I wanted to just play Slayer, but there's no Slayer, they're all objective modes. And what I found out is that in the objective modes, when people were like me, where I, they couldn't be bothered to play the objective, it just became a Slayer where people would ignore the objective. And it's just so, it breaks the game like that, because really, if you want to play Capture the Flag or something, you should be able to choose it because then you're more likely going to play the objective whereas if you want to just go around shooting people and having a bit more of a laid back experience you're going to avoid the objectives you're just going to go for the kills and and that's the problem is that that's going to really ruin the meta of everything but I think they're going to add it soon like because if it's in the game they've got to add it by the end of the year I think they said they were so um We'll see, but to be fair, my attention has always been on the campaign. The multiplayer has been pretty good for me to like say, yeah, I might hop on now and then, but like, it's been more interesting to say Battlefield, and I'm, I'm surprised about that. I thought Battlefield would have been like dragging me along to play it, but Infinite's way better. Um, but besides that, <laughs> uh, a really good episode of State of Decay anyway, and then we'll continue on tomorrow. Uh, but hopefully some Halo Infinite campaign. It, it probably won't be like the first episode today, but uh, we'll probably be quite a way into the campaign by the time this is up. Um, hopefully. Um, but yeah, really enjoying it. And then um, 
everything. That's mostly everything. I don't think there's anything else besides come join me for State Decay tomorrow and then we'll be doing some two days after that we'll be grounded in the evening. Um, and there's some Grand Theft Auto tomorrow morning. Uh, I think that's everything. So as always, thanks for watching if you've been watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.